Welcome to Sports. I am Jordan Strack. We are inside Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse here in Cleveland. It is MAC semifinal day. Toledo trying to get to the MAC championship game and the BGSU women as well. Let's start with Toledo, the number one seed taken on the five seed Ohio, and they would have their hands full from the jump. First half of this one, Seth Milner with it. He would go to work, drives and lays it up at the basket. He was great tonight. He finished with 26 points, but the Rockets were down by 12 at the break. Go to the second half now. Toledo still down big, trying to get something going offensively. Marion Jackson would knock down a deep ball for three of his game-high 29 points, but it was just too much for Ohio. Ben Vanderplas and Jason Preston combined for 53 points. Toledo, another heartbreaker. They fall in the MAC semifinal 87-80. I don't care if you're the one seed, the two seed, the three. Everybody's got pressure in a one-game situation. Uh, we don't have any more pressure than Buffalo or Akron or, or Ohio U or last night Ball State. Everybody's got it's, it's a you know so it's a one and done situation, and, and a lot of things have to go the right way. And uh, tonight they went Ohio's way; they didn't go ours. Falcons taking on a Buffalo team that beat them twice during the regular season. Lexi Fleming hurt the quarterfinal win, but toughed it out today. First half, Madison Parker coming off the bench, and she made a huge impact. Just an unbelievable shooter. Drills a three ball here. She had 12 points in the game. BG up eight at the break. And then go to the second half. It's Elissa Brett. She was awesome. Game high, 20 points. Also had 13 rebounds. BG hit 14 threes in the game, and they would just keep coming. How about Lexi Fleming? Playing through the pain, she had 16 points, four threes. BG wins it 80 to 67. They will play for a MAC title coming up tomorrow. Um, I knew this preseason that we were better. You know, I could feel that from our workouts and our practices. But what does better mean? You know, what does better mean when you've been at the bottom of the MAC? I, I don't know, but I, I was really encouraged by our toughness, our effort, our competitiveness. Um, our level of practice had really improved. So um, I had known that, so I felt encouraged about that. All right, Mac Championship Day coming up tomorrow. Now let's get to our high school action from the night. Here's Christy Copanis down in Dayton. Jordan, thanks. UD Arena playing host to the state final four. Earlier today, Napoleon played for a trip to the state championship, but we're going to start with the nightcap, the Notre Dame Eagles. And they are in the state final four for the eighth time in 10 years. A tough task ahead. Cincinnati, Mount Notre Dame, who's won 70 games in a row. Allie Ray opens up the scoring on the wing, lets it fly, and buries the three for the first points of the game. Notre Dame would start the second half down just one. Here, Ray out and running, turns and dishes to Grace Van Sluten. Grace goes up strong, gets the bucket plus the foul. She led the way with 20 points. Then more from Van Sluten. Tylen King finds her wide open down low. The reverse layup to keep this one close. But in the final minutes, Mount Notre Dame with a double digit lead. Dakota Smith tries to get them back in it, but it wasn't enough. Notre Dame falls in the state semifinal 59-50. I'm so proud. I mean, like three quarantines, that's so tough like we played the least amount of games of everyone who was still left in the tournament um, and just to get this far with all of that it's, I'm so proud. To the Division II state semifinal, Napoleon taking on Dayton Carroll in the first quarter. Kaylee Ressler lobs it into Taylor Strock. She goes off glass for two of her 13 points. And then it's Ressler on the wing, letting it fly from deep, and she knocks down the three. And early in the second quarter, Emma Pedroza drives hard to the rim, gets the bucket plus the foul. She was just getting warmed up. She had 11 points in the first half alone. Second half, Wildcats found themselves trailing by one. Six to play. Callie Helberg drives, puts up the shot, and that falls to give them back the lead. Now under four to play, Wrestler from deep. She buries a huge three ball. That gives them a six-point lead. And with 10 seconds to play, a 46-43 Napoleon lead. Carroll, a final shot at the buzzer, but it doesn't fall. Let the celebrations begin. Napoleon will play for a state championship on Saturday. It's so exciting because um, I think every player's dream is to get to this point, and it's just so hard to do. There's so many great players that never got to get to this point, and so um, I just, it was so emotional when the buzzer went off just because um, it, take, it takes like a lifetime of hard work to get here and um, it just, it feels just like I always thought it would. So that's going to do it for coverage of the state final four. We will see you back here tomorrow as Napoleon goes for a state championship. Reporting tonight, Christy Kopanis, WTOL 11. All right, Christy, thanks. Big Ten Tournament today, Michigan and Maryland. Some tense moments here. Juwan Howard gets ejected as tempers flare between the two head coaches. The Wolverines would rally from a slow start in this one. Mike Smith had a day. 18 points for him. Wolverines are moving on to the Big Ten semis tomorrow afternoon. 
and the Buckeyes will be joining them in the semis. Ohio State blew a huge second half lead, but they would be just fine in overtime. They outscore Purdue 15 to 6 in the extra session. So it's the Buckeyes and the Wolverines tomorrow on WTOL 11 at 1 o'clock in the Big Ten semis. And finally, BGSU Hockey falls in game one of their WCHA playoff series tonight on the home ice. They will play game two coming up tomorrow. If you missed any of the action from tonight, make sure you head over to our WTOL YouTube channel. And that is it for sports.